Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your final lesson in trigonometry in week 27. We're going to now be looking at a mixed example. So it says A is the highest point of a vertical tower AT. So we've got A which is the highest point of the vertical tower of AT. At point N, N meters from the top, so it's a little n, little n, n meets from the top, a bird has made a nest, so here's your nest, okay, with your little bird, I can't draw to save my life, as we can see, here's your bird, okay, just looks like a squiggle, but anyway, there's the bird of the nest, the angle of inclination from G to point A is alpha, and the angle of inclination from point G to to the nest n is beta, beta. And the first thing they say is express a g n, a g n. So we want, let's just do that in another color. They want angle a g n, so they want this angle in terms of alpha and beta. Okay, that's pretty easy because of the fact that we've got the whole of this angle is alpha and this angle there is beta, then obviously this little angle here is going to be, so angle, write it here, angle AGN, AGN is just going to be alpha minus beta. So that angle there is going to be alpha minus beta. Okay, let's see what else they ask us for. Now they say express angle A, that's this one, in terms of either alpha and or beta, either alpha and or beta. Well, do you agree that we've got the whole of this angle here is alpha and we've got this angle here is 90. So if we look in this big triangle, do you see that angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus alpha, the whole of that. So therefore, that's 90 minus alpha. So this angle here is going to be 90 minus alpha. Okay. Next, it says show that the height of the nest from the ground can be determined by the formula. So they want this bit here. In cos alpha sine beta over sine alpha minus beta. So they want N cos alpha sine beta over sine alpha minus beta. Okay, so we need to get, somehow we need to get alpha minus beta and that into this triangle. So this is called 2D trig and the whole deal with doing 2D trig is that you need to find your bridge between your triangles and in this case this line here is our bridge because we've got this triangle over here which has got alpha minus beta in it and it's got an alpha and then we've got this other triangle down here which has got the big H but it also has beta so what we need to do and we've got N in this triangle so this triangle here the top one the red one do you see we've got N, we've got alpha minus beta, and we've got 90 minus alpha, I admit. I admit we've got 90 minus alpha. But do you see that we could possibly use the sine rule to find this side here, which is my bridge between this triangle and this triangle? So let's have a look at it. We know that A over sine A is equal to B over sine b. Okay, so in this case we've got n and we've got this angle here and we've got this angle here and we want that side. That works. Awesome. So gn, gn over sine of 90 minus alpha is equal to little n over sine of alpha minus beta. Okay, so now I'm going to carry on writing here so you don't get confused. So therefore, big GN is equal to N sine 90 minus alpha all over sine 
of alpha minus beta. Now at this point, I go and check to see how I'm doing compared to what I want. I've got sine of alpha minus beta, awesome. I've got n at the top, awesome, but they've got cos alpha, and I've got sine of 90 plus, minus alpha, but we know from the cofunctions that this is the same as saying n cos of alpha, yay, so I've got that as well, all over sine of alpha minus beta, and that's gn. So now what do we have? Let's go into our next triangle. So if we look at the next triangle, we've got gn, okay, they want us to relate this to h and to beta, but this is a right angle triangle, so if you look at that, do you see that we could be using Sarkatoa, Sarkatoa, and there's a hint, sine beta, so let's see if that works. Sine of beta is opposite over hypotenuse. That works. So let's write it down. Sine beta is equal to h over gn. Therefore, h is going to be gn time sine beta. But gn is all of this. So then all we have to do is put it together. Therefore, h is equal to n cos alpha sine beta all over sine of alpha minus beta and there you go. Grade 11 is the coolest questions as far as I'm concerned with trig are the ones where they ask us to show something because then we know what we're aiming for and then you just need to do drawings and color coordination and filling in the numbers and then work through it slowly step by step and you will get the answer. Please go do practice, 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 lots of practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section to make sure you understand. Have a lovely day.